Hello everybody, welcome to the show. This is uh, 2015 uh, in New Orleans and we're going to talk about the new CEO products. Uh, first, we're going to uh, start off with the Steel Horse. Steel Horse is the new cigar based on the popularity of uh, 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 Flathead. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. No, I understand. But, uh, uh, Steel Horse came about because when we launched, uh, you know, Flathead three years ago, it was so successful. It caught everybody off guard from the manufacturers, us, uh, to retailers, to the uh, uh, fans of CEO. And so we knew back then that we wanted to extend uh, the line, but we didn't know how to do that and when to do that. So uh, going back in time when I was uh, fishing that cigar and doing events, I realized a lot of bike guys were coming up to me saying, I really dig your concept of the flathead, but you're really talking to car guy and truck guy. You're not talking to bike guy. Do you really Realized that uh, Harley Davidson launched a flathead engine for their bikes in the 30s. I didn't know that because I'm not a biker, but uh, doing some research, uh, we uh, found out that was true. So when the timing was right this year, last year we started to work on extending this uh, uh, line. So it was a natural for us to give the biker something that they can, can hold on to and love. So that's yeah. the reason that we said flathead steel horse. So the only thing that you're going to notice that's going to feed back to the original flathead is the flathead. Ah. So the blend is completely different. The binder, the filler, the wrappers, the body is completely different. The presentation is different. And so based on the success when we launched the uh, flathead of uh, spark plug, everybody liked the presentation. I think they really dug the fact that there was a little box. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> what I was saying, uh, based on the success when we launched this uh, spark plug, oh sorry, uh, we knew that we, if I was a bike guy and I was going to ride my bike and put a couple of cigars in my breast pocket, my saddlebag, if it's just a cello, maybe it's going to be damaged. So that's the reason that we're going to uh, sell the cigars with the, uh, the box. First cigar, so it's going to be in a cardboard box. So two sizes, we'll get you the blends, the sizes and all that. Look forward to that. What I'm very excited about, other than a uh, uh, flathead seal horse, is Pallone. Pallone is a new product from General Cigar and uh, CEO that we started to work on five years ago. When we first merged with CEO, uh, the question was asked to me, what does CEO represent to you? And naturally, like everybody, new tobaccos. But if we rely only on new tobaccos, we can't launch a lot of products. So we started to think, uh, think of other things that we can launch and tell this story. So we started to work on fermentation. So we did some research and found out Back in the day, Cuba was using this circular cologne. The only reason these guys came up on it, it takes a lot longer. So typically, if to ferment tobacco it takes us about a year to 18 months, using this uh, circular cologne, it takes me about anywhere from 24 months to 30 months longer. Even though there's going to be added labor because of the added babysitting, breaking down, Re, uh, you know, uh, forming it, uh, we're going to still be able to share the cigar that looks very rich in presentation, the band, the box, the cigar, and the smoke. And you're going to realize, you're going to realize this cigar performs, tastes, and lacks like a twelve to fifteen dollar cigar. But because we know these fans of CEO, we're going to be able to provide that cigar for you at a price point of five fifty to seven dollars. So because very nice, we, yeah. Because we we're looking at CEO as a whole, what we I think we're missing was that cigar that has that that high end look, that uh, the feel that we're smoking something special. Uh, maybe you have a, a uh, celebration, maybe a birthday, uh, uh, maybe you had a promotion, maybe you had your first kid. I don't think you want to really 
go to the hospital with the flathead box under your arm. Now you, with this presentation of the box, the way they look, you can definitely go to the hospital and say, I just had my first baby and I want to share this beautiful cigar with you. So they're going to be launched at the show and it's going to ship it to your local tobacconist in the early part of uh, August. So look forward to it. Uh, I'm excited about the both of these products and I look forward to seeing you guys out there. So soon. what we have here is the Margarita Margaritaville collection by CAO this year. Um, Basically what happened was we have a licensing agreement and an arrangement with Jimmy Buffett. Um, the Margaritaville empire is wide and we think there's about 50 million parent heads out there uh, around the globe. Um, and came to us and, and we started talking about making some accessories, some cutters, some lighters, etc. Working with him on Frontgate and some other places where he's selling already uh, different things via Margaritaville. And when we started looking at the different kind of branding that he had and different brands within the Margaritaville world, it became evident that most of those were no-brainers in terms of cigars. Uh, the, Jimmy oh, yeah. Buff the Jimmy Buffett lifestyle, the cigar lifestyle, they kind of go hand in hand. Uh, so what we did is we came out with two new cigars um, to try out this concept this year. The first is CAO Margaritaville, aptly named. Uh, that is a flavored cigar. It's pina colada, so great cigar to chill out on the beach with and kind of get into your Jimmy Buffett tunes. I know Do you like pina coladas? Um, I prefer getting caught in the rain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, and I know that you do too. So. Um, yes. Yeah. So that's Margaritaville. There's two sizes to start with: a Corona and a Petit Corona. Um, you know, it's priced kind of alongside the rest of the flavors in the CAO line. Uh, and then the other uh, brand that we looked at was Havana Daydream, and obviously that makes a lot of sense as well. Um, it's more of a mild to medium uh, entry level cigar, kind of like a CAO Gold with a little bit of kick to it. Uh, but again, lots of parrot heads kind of getting into the cigar lifestyle. A great entry point for them to kind of come in, gravitate towards that. That's about a six to eight dollar cigar across okay. three sizes: um, a robusto, a toro, and a torpedo. Uh, and that's really the Margaritaville concept for now. Over time, we think this could grow into other brands. He's got yeah. one, for example, called Saint Somewhere that looks really cool, um, and other brands like that that could extend out of this. I don't know, um, but we would love to see it kind of evolve over time. Is that is that something that's shipping now, or is that this will ship later on the fall, October probably? Okay, cool. Look forward to in October. Yeah, man. Thanks. All right, Brian. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs>